Hey church, uh, this is Pastor Chris, and I thought that the easiest way to give you a few announcements would be to make this short video. Some changes uh, are coming up for us, and so I thought, well, the easiest way to do this is just to, to do it like this, and uh, that way you are aware of what's shaking when you came to the gathering on Sunday. So um, you, you and I both know that we start uh, our services about 10 or 15 after, and um, that's by design, and it has been for years. Um, but we're going to do something a little different. So uh, at 11 a.m., we are going to start singing. And um, we want this to uh, be an organic thing where um, when you come in, um, you're still getting all your people together. And, and maybe if you are in the, the band or uh, a singer, or you are um, um, in another area. Uh, you, if you're a mom, you're trying to, to wrangle the kids into the row or whatever you're doing. Um, we want you to know that that still goes on at 11 o'clock. And But at 11 o'clock, we're going to start singing. We're going to sing a couple hymns, uh, older hymns. Um, and uh, we want this to be a time of, of singing. And it's not going to be led with mics and all those sorts of things, but it's just going to be all of us singing together before our call to worship to kind of prepare our hearts. That'll put us starting about 10 after 11, just like normal. But uh, at 11 o'clock, um, uh, Robert will uh, start to play and uh, start to uh, lead us in a hymn. And so... Uh, that's important, and we want to to sing a couple hymns to prepare our hearts. It's so hard to to get to run in and to rush in and to sit down, and then boom, you're confronted with uh, your call to worship. So this way, hopefully, it encourages you to sing later in the service, but also it encourages you to sing right then, get those pipes warmed up, and um, for all of us to sing together. Let me encourage you a, 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 on a couple fronts first. Um, make this uh, a, um, a part of your routine. Hey, we got to get there so that we can uh, sing those those couple hymns before it starts. Some weeks we might sing two, some weeks we might sing three. I don't know, and uh, but we're going to try it and give it a whirl and see what happens. But we want this to be a time. Now, everybody always asks, well, do we stand up? Do we sit down? Uh, do we do this? Do we do that? You, yeah, yeah. You can stand up and sing. Most people uh, need to stand up to sing well. Uh, but if you're not able to do that, uh, you can sit and sing, and you can greet your neighbor and and uh, make people feel welcome and and uh, just a time to celebrate uh, what God has done for us um, as a church family. So now, one thing that's going to be changed because of that is we're going to have to um, have the uh, Sunday morning um, Sunday school class, the uh, adult Sunday school class, will be meeting in the room behind the baptistry up the new Sunday school room. So <clears throat> uh, that's um, if you're if you if you are a Sunday school person, you come to this uh, to Sunday school and you're in the adult class. Um, You'll come in like normal, sit in the sanctuary. Everybody will come in, and then they'll dismiss, and then you'll go up to, behind the the baptistry there. We can make arrangements if, if folks maybe would have problems doing that or whatever. So that's really the only change that you're going to see on the Sunday morning gathering. There's more things coming, um, hopefully, that will uh, encourage you, uh, your heart, and to celebrate the gospel and give uh, words to... Um, uh, to you to use to to praise him. So Sunday mornings about eleven o'clock, um, we're going to start singing together organically, just out of the congregation. We're going to sing and uh, a couple hymns uh, to prepare us for worship for our call to worship. So um, let me. I'm running out of time, but let me uh, say a couple more things. First, if you would like to be involved with the worship gathering. Um, whether it be reading scripture or um, uh, praying or anything like that. I'd love for you to, to, to be involved with that, taking up the offering, all those things. So you can contact uh, Brother Robert, uh, or if you see me, uh, you can let me know as well, and we'll get uh, you to help us 
and um, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And so uh, I can't wait to see you and your family. This week is Genesis 23, and um, Abraham's wife, Sarah, um, uh, she dies. And so um, I can't wait to uh, see you and to hear from the Lord and uh, be encouraged and to uh, lift up his name. So um, I guess I will see you Sunday, 11 o'clock, the hymn start.